Hi, welcome to Trafalgar Square. We're here for Amnesty's uh, demonstration in support of the Arab Spring. And we're joined by Gias from Syria. Um, Gias, uh, how, how did the veto um, by Russia and China, uh, how does it make you feel? And what options are left now for the international, international community to take action? I think the veto was, was disgusting completely. It was inappropriate. Uh, uh, the resolution itself was not strong, was very weak. But the veto uh, symbolically was very bad. It was a green light for the regime to go ahead. If you, if you, if you are following the, the situation in Syria, after the veto, the Assad regime started bombing cities and villages uh, from the air, from uh, the ground. So was, the veto was, was very, very, very bad move by the Russians. And uh, the Security Council again and again uh, was, was incapable to do anything. So is there any option that you'd like them, the international community to take to support the Syrian Free Army or the people stuck in Syria? I think, I think they should, now we should, the, the first step we should do is to suffocate the regime completely. Uh, prevent any income comes to the country, sanction the regime, uh, freezing the assets of, of the central bank, and and uh, do what all can we do to, to, to freeze the, 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 uh, the regime getting arms from outside the from outside. And, and would you like to see the Syrian Free Army be provided with weapons to um, fight the government, or would you rather see a sort of more non-violent approach? I'm, I'm pro non-violent approach. Uh, the Free Syrian Army, they are brave soldiers, they are very good, they have good intention, but uh, you cannot have, you cannot find, fight a, a, a very capable regime with big half a million army soldiers uh, with one gun. You cannot do that. It's, it's, a, it's a risk. We are risking people's life, we are risking the soldiers' lives, uh, and it's, it's, we, it's, more effective if we can uh, bring the regime down by peaceful way. Do you think that's likely, uh, given his father's past and uh, he's entrenched in a minority? Um, is he likely to give up? It doesn't look like he is at the moment. Uh, I think I think now the Syrian situation has really moved from the internal prospect to the external prospect. Now the the international players are are playing big role in within the Syrian uh, revolution. Unfortunately, of course. Uh, so the regime would fall uh, sooner or later. The regime uh, morally finished, politically finished, all what is there is a the military. So if we can control that, we, we will bring him down. So the regime is not functioning anyway. So if we can put more pressure on the regime, if we can contain the Russians uh, and the Chinese, uh, that, would, that would make uh, the fall of the regime much, much easier. And whereabouts are you from and what your friends and families are telling you? I'm, I'm from uh, Tartu city, but my, uh, half of my family live in, out of, uh, of Hama city. And uh, friends are telling me the situation is dire, like people are not living normally. Even, even people who are not joining the protests or, or the, the action, they are still suffering. The regime is sanction, sh sanctioning the whole area if you are participating in the revolution or not. So the regime is, uh, is, is participating the whole, uh, sanctioning the whole area. People are suffering. So what's what happening? There's no food coming in or medical supplies? No food, that sort many, of thing. many, many areas that don't have food. Uh, terrible cut uh, of electricity, power cut, no fuel. And it's, it's, a, it's a collective punishment the regime is, is uh, uh, doing now on, on people. And of course, the anxiety and the, the insecurity, people are very scared. Um, it, it's 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 very very dire situation. And, and finally, what can people here in the UK do to help? Or yeah, uh, we Syrian people need support. Need support from people in the UK and the EU. For first of all, we need to to put more pressure on our government, on the British government, uh, to act quickly, to do more sanctions, to to be to be sure that the sanctions they they already uh, done are in place, are acting, and then to isolate. They isolate the Syrian regime. It's very, very important. When the Syrian regime has no connection to the outside world, the, the regime would, would, would finish. Uh, um, also, we need to have more pressure on the regime to allow the humanitarian uh, organizations to, to enter Syria, especially especially to Homs and Idlib cities, and, and then offer medical assistance to people and, and a humanitarian help.
Okay, thanks a lot for joining us, Keith. Thank you. Uh, this is Glenn McMahon for Vision on TV here in Trafalgar Square.